Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? Hope everyone is doing great today. We got a special treat, highly requested um, Jeopardy series. We are going to be watching this for the very first time. We have no clue what it's about. Uh, we know nothing about it. So it's going to be exciting to watch a new series. Um, we still got Snow Game and all these other more Frankie Boyle and more things coming your way, guys. So um, stay tuned on it. But this is a special treat. Um, so enjoy, guys. Let's get to it. Already looking like a scary movie. <laughs> Music is trippy. Sarge. My soccer shirt with bloodstains on it. You will leave it where it is. What a mess. How many of them were out here? Eight school kids from Scotland, a teacher, and a ranger. And what were they doing out here? Looking for UFOs. Looking for UFOs? Holy shit. It looks like they just might have found one. Ah, that music is eerie. I like it. Control 3 to base. Request backup. Control 3 to base. Over. Nothing. Useless. Doesn't seem to be getting through. It's such. Man, that shit is messed up. Tapes. Mm. And why do they leave them out here? There's a camcorder. Let's take a look. First, sir. Well spotted, Dave. And then, if you put it on automatic, it will focus for you. Why, why don't you just take the own one? Hello, I'm Jerry Simmons, a former teacher at West Falkirk Academy and founder of the school's <laughs> UFO club. Now, these people UFO with me club. are all winners. They uh, put their name in a draw last week to go on the club's annual trip. And this year, it's a very special trip. It's to find spacemen, aliens, Martians, <laughs> extraterrestrial activity in Australia. Yeah! Woo! Okay, okay, this kid's is lit. Right. Now, read this very carefully because this is the reason that we're going to Australia. Uh, a local family, the O'Donnells, who recently experienced a possible UFO encounter whilst hiking in the outback. <laughs> UFOs, wicked or what? They were driving along a trail in the bush when suddenly. Everything began to shake, and the jeep was lifted into the air. And you saw this giant silver triangle pulling them towards it? Correct. Then the uh -huh. next second, they were on the ground again in a clearing in the bush about 30 miles from the trail. How did that happen? But that's not all. There's no road in or out, so no one can explain how they got there. Excuse me, that's where we're going? The Paramundi Canyon. Um, there have been six UFO encounters in the same area, and that's where Damn. we set up camp, right in the middle. Cam. Awesome. I said, excuse me, is that as intense? If you saw, or at least are listening from the teacher saying that there's been six experiences of uh, UFO encounters, um, would you go? Would you still go to the location? Because it seems like that's what they're going to be doing. Um, would you go? No, uh, we'll be using all of our. I don't know for me right now. I'm thinking we'll about also it. Be recording our minute-to-minute -minute experiences with these. Yeah, the boys gave us a chance. Now, look, I borrowed these from the film club, so be careful. Thank you. We'll each, we'll, we'll each get a turn, we'll each make a video diary. Uh, so can I recording our experiences, and we'll show them to the school like a documentary. When we Wish my back. school had stuff like that. So we never had nothing go, nice like that. Take one of these, a briefing pack and um, an equipment list, okay? And go film everything. <laughs> Nowadays, we use it on our phone, but we didn't have it. Uh, video recorders in school. Hi, I'm Shona Campbell, and guess what? It's raining, like usual. 
but in a couple of days I'll be in Australia. To be honest, I'm a bit worried about it. I haven't told my mum it's a UFO trip. I mean, I don't really believe in all that UFO stuff, but I still entered my name anyway. Anything to experience Australia. So I told her it was a geography research trip. So, what do I want out this trip? Adventure, and to make some new friends. Of the female variety, of course. Okay. Maybe okay, play a female alien. <laughs> he's he's going to be the first Hi, to get pro. I'm David Hedges, and I've been selected to go to Australia with the School Ufology Club, and I'm thrilled. I mean, not only do we get to explore a, a really UFO active area, but the whole place will be crawling with wildlife and flora and fauna. I mean, did you know that in Australia, they have over 500 eucalyptus species alone? Eh. That's incredible, isn't it? Look like the boffins on the trip. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, Chrissy girl, how's the hair looking? <laughs> Come on! At least this trip's gonna give me a chance to get to know Simon, who is a bit of a doll. Somebody now, trying to get it in. Leaving this outer space thing, so I guess there might be something out there. Simon, here we go. Come on. Hey, Chrissy. <laughs> I'm Simon, football captain. I think I was chosen because I'm good under pressure mm. and. I'm fit, I can run 100 metres in 12 secs, and I'm very popular. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, so far he's really good at it. He's good at football. Hi. <laughs> My name's Harry Hastings. Um, I was just wanting to say a little bit about, about the group that's going with me. Everyone looks sort of really fit and healthy, and I'm kind of feeling a bit like the odd one out. Um, I'm just starting to wonder if I'm going to be humping all the gear around all the time, you know? But that's probably why they've started calling me Humper. Jesus. To be honest with you, I'm not that bothered. Just as long as I don't let anyone down, you know? Mr. Simmons has shown a lot of faith in me, and I never, ever get picked for anything like this. So, I guess that's all about... Guess that's all I've got to say, really. In fact, no, wait, there is one more thing. But he's I'm last picked in dodgeball, pretty much. Me. I don't need them. It's been two years since my last fit. And uh, nobody needs to know, do they? The hell is that? OK. OK, music we can get down to. All right. UFO. Liking the song. That chick is funny. This kid is prepared as hell. Whoa! What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Right. A big ass class, so this is crazy so gonna be a cool trip. Be here by now? Yes, it should. I've got fun them. Yes, my sir. There's no turning back now, girl. I'll back in that case anyway. Harry, Harry, how much spending money are you taking? Just about hundred pounds or something. Hundred? Go on, take. I've got double that. You gotta buy the base at least one drink. Oh. Hey, I'm bringing my plastic. Why? I mean, there's no cash dispensers in the bush. We won't be in the bush all the time, sadly. Yeah, all the library. Some of us are here to party. Go oh, her. Take care. I'm bringing my plastic. I'm down. Phone me. Phone me, phone me. Oh, I need it. Bye. 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 I miss that about school. Going on the uh, school trips were always really fun. Um, yeah, I love doing that stuff. We went to some pretty cool stuff. My parents didn't uh, greet me like this, though. Last go. Okay. Say goodbye to Glasgow. Bye. Bye.
And their airplane food looked better than my shit. He's already macking it. Oh god, he's barfing. Man, look at that. The plane boss. Nice plane. Very nice plane. Ever been on one that like that? Reminds me of the like Jurassic Park and shit. Even though I don't even think there was planes like that on it, but Wonder if it's his. Hey, this chick is always scared. She's gonna be the complicated one. Outback, trekkers. G'day, everybody. G'day. My name's Arnie. Hi, Arnie. I'm the senior ranger here at Lindara, and I'll be your main point of contact back at base. Nice. Your camping gear and your tin provisions are already up at the site. Now, you're in good hands with Melissa. I trained her myself. Enjoy your breakfast. It's probably the last decent meal you're going to have for the next couple of weeks. Woo! From now on, it's that scared me right there. Lizards. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> the last decent meal. <laughs> oh, don't worry, they'll be all right. I don't really know that area very well. Either. Yeah. Look, the radio interference was pretty bad up there when we dropped the tents. We didn't so have any radio. Can we pack some flares and make sure you take a really good first aid kit. Then you won't have any problems. What about communication? You'll be all right. Don't worry. That guy already has me worried right now. I don't know what that's all about. But you figure if you're out somewhere, communication ain't going to be that good anyway. Uh, these things are really simple to use. They have solar batteries, so they recharge during the day. Any questions? Cool. There you go. Everyone will be given whistles. Damn. You are to carry these whistles with you at all times. You blow the whistles in an emergency. They are not toys, and That's they should be smart, used though. to referee football games. <laughs> right, who's in charge of first aid? Sure enough. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I'm a shame first aider. I'm a mum's a doctor. Oh, great news. You can be in charge of the medical kit and we'll redistribute your stuff amongst the others. Is that okay? That's not fair. Well, that's the way we'll do things from now on. It will be a team effort. Mm. My mum's <gasps> a doctor. Now, does anyone know what I mean when I say Aider. I want us to be a low impact group? Um, yeah, not to cause too much damage and watch where we walk. It's just about conservation and respect for nature. Exactly. Sounds like I have an ally. Nice answer. I'm here to witness the world life. Don't forget the nightlife. That is when we'll all be safely tucked up into bed, Leon. Now, it also seems to me like you've all bought too much gear, so what I would like you to do is go through your packs, take out any non-essentials, and put the rest in these rucksacks here. Any questions? Good. China, come with me. 
seems as if Melissa already has her favourites. Chrissy, Shauna is vital to the group. Anyone can see that. No, let me just stuff it down her throat, though, is there? Mm, I like her. She's a team player. Now, what I want you to do here is make a list of everything that's in here. Hey, that chick is anything you think we should have, and I'll come back and double check that. Is that okay? Yeah. Right, Shauna. You need a hat. Thank you. Time to load up. These are yours. Where'd you get them from? The Ark? The Rick's dug there enough. So much for air conditioning. Okay, as long as the gate is your guys. Okay. Hey, Shauna, can I sit next to you? Next to the team busy. Hey, Shauna, can I sit next to you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this chick yeah, is crazy. Be all right, miss. Oh, yeah. You'll have a sore backside for a couple of days. Let's see how popular you are after this, Shauna. Uh-oh. There's always one dumb kid. Oh. And this, this shit has the only freaking porno type music. Jesus. Not that I know what type of music that is. A good soundtrack. Macaroni. Whoa, look at that. Spectacular or what? Yeah. It's incredible. It's just like to see a green. I always love traveling just, just to see sightseeing and, and shit. Like this. Of miles right. Of Takes your breath away. Yes, it does. Bloodwood. Oh, oh, and there's banks here. Oh. <laughs> is that for real? I mean, so, so this is where we set up camp, right? <laughs> He's jabbering about. Stairs. No, this is where we leave the four-wheel drives and trek inland. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Sorry. I've reached that mobile phone off. Now we have no service from here on in. Oh, shit. It's just shortwave radios from here on How in. How much further? A couple oh. of hours or so more. Oh. Everyone get the gear unloaded. They expect. Oh. I mean, can anyone turn this heat off? It's like a sauna. We have been up since four o'clock this morning. Okay, people, look, we're all in this together, and I'm sure you all want to sleep underneath canvas, and the tents are there, ready and waiting, so... And you want the camp to be in the heart of the sightings area, don't you? So come on, move it. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> Half a moment. Uh-oh, I'll teach you about the market. Oh, boy. Melissa, Melissa, that, if I'm not mistaken, is a scribbly gum or a eucalyptus square filler. That's correct. But what exactly makes those scribbles? <laughs> it's caterpillars eating off the bark bit. That's brilliant. <laughs> you can really smell that freshness in the air. It's wonderful. <sighs> oh, I can that smell knows his body stuff. odor.
Nice. Playing in the middle of UFO country. Yeah. So we don't have much light left, so we need to get organized. I'll have the girls' tent here, the boys' tent there. Jerry's mine. Do not touch that food. The provisions need to be rationed. Oh, drinks. <laughs> oh. Rationed? That's a bit drastic, isn't it? Well, suit yourselves. You can use all that now and have nothing for this time next week. The food has to be managed. Oh, that'll be up to Chrissy. She came top in food tech. What? It's just because my mum did my homework. Oh, you're just being modest. Oh. Five great food management can fall with you. Chrissy, we'll talk about menus in the morning. Menus? Oh. Mercy, I saw some say chocolate there. You guys ever go camping? Right. We've went what camping we've a couple times. Mix the tuna with the mayonnaise and the lemon. And what we're going to do is serve it with those beans over there. Okay? okay. Sounds like we have a new chef. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of setting up some monitoring equipment. Who'd like to give me a hand? I think they were all a bit tired, sir. Dead beat. Exhausted. I see. Well, maybe tomorrow then. Right, everyone, grubs up. Headquarters over. Base camp to headquarters over. Yeah. No signal, no nothing. Could just be a battery problem. Base camp to HQ, Arnie, are you there? Over. Oh, I was afraid of this. Afraid of what? Um. It is kind of scary. Communication problems. No comms. Really, it's just that I don't really know this area very well, so... It That's not good. Zone. What does that mean? It means that the mountain ranges block some of the signals. Hmm. Listen, don't worry, you don't know what... It could even be a UFO problem. <laughs> it could Shit. be. I'll try yeah. again. Base camp to headquarters, over. Sindera HQ here. Over. Oh, shit, Arnie, look. Is that you? Over. Hearing you better now, Mel. Over. At base camp, all accounted for. Over. Oh, good news. Found all the equipment all right? Over. All A-OK. -okay. Over. How's everything else? Over. Well, you know, sunburn, sore feet, sore backs, blah, blah, but we're all OK. Over. <laughs> Happy alien, Andy. I'll check in again at 1800 tomorrow. Over and out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lucky. <laughs> We made it. Here we are sleeping in the outbacks under the canvas. Any of you guys fancy a game of cards? We are. Oh, you go to sleep. So much for the nightlife. <laughs> Everybody's knocked out. Wow, watch it. Halfway around the world in two days. We all seem to be getting on fine though. Unless it's Ace and Sarah and Lucy are great. I'm not so sure about Chrissy though. You can't win them all, can you? Never. That's it. Good night. It's like some like glowing eye shit over there. to after the credits uh, just in case we don't know if there's something on it um, we don't want to make the same mistake we did on um, still game real quick sure so far it just it seems like we've just scratched the surface on it we're definitely gonna have to watch uh, way more episodes on it to really um, get a handle of what's going on in here um but 
uh, from the beginning of the episode and stuff, you see the after effects in it. So I guess we're going to get lead up to what's going on. It looks like it's going to be an interesting, uh, excuse me. it looks like it's going to be an interesting show. Um, so we're excited to check out more again. Um, thank you to the homie, uh, DJ Donnelly, uh, for the recommendation. We'll check more out of it. Um, it looks interesting. I want to see what's going to happen here and stuff. Uh, we'll see what happens with the communication, um, the food and all that do they get to see something this is these are questions that i'm asking myself right now what's going to be uh happening has anybody ever been camping has anybody ever felt uh this will be a weird question right here has anybody ever uh seen in their eyes uh a ufo or an extraterrestrial uh interested to see what you guys would say on that i personally have not um but let me know in the comments below uh, do you guys want to see more episodes of this? This is something, at least the first episode, is just getting our feet wet. So I think we'll definitely have to dive into it. But I do want to know what you guys think. So do let me know in the comments below. As always, peace and love. Um, happy holidays. Uh, all that good stuff, guys. Happy and healthy going into the new year as well. So we'll see you soon. Peace and love. As always, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget, uh, leave like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, guys. So I appreciate you guys.